Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play Steel Rising. Um, really quick before we actually get into it, there was a very, very large patch that just went out. It took me forever to actually download, install the patch, and then install the patch again. I'm not really sure what happened, but anyway, it took quite a while. It was about 18 gigabytes, which I can only assume is supposed to be their day one patch. The problem is, there are no patch notes. Um, I've just been running around just this little area just outside of the workshop and I don't really seem to notice anything major. The performance seems to be about the same, uh, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that a day one patch might help that out. Some of you have expressed concerns that the requirements are a bit steep and, and I agree on PC. The minimum recommendation is uh, a 2060 graphics card, which uh, not everyone has. And I was taking a look at the at the options here just to see if anything changed and I noticed that my texture details were on high and I went to switch to ultra and if you take a look up under graphics quality in the top right it actually exceeds my GPU's available VRAM uh, it goes almost up to 13 gigabytes I have I thought I had actually more than 12 I thought I actually had 16 I clearly mistaken I don't know my PC all that well but anyway we're gonna leave it on high um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit confusing. I don't know exactly what changed, but hopefully they'll put up some patch notes uh, later today when this game actually releases, or yesterday when the game releases, just depending on when this video goes live. Right, so we need to make it up top to get into the workshop, and in order to do that, I believe I need to go further out into this area here. I believe we're still in uh, Les Invalides. You're welcome. Been practicing that a little bit. So... Okay, so let's check out the factories now. Anything I can do with the carriages does not appear so. Now, of course, that's that door's gonna be blocked. I am still using, let's take a look actually at the inventory. I still have my um, my falchion and saber and my nemesis claws. And then of course the armor, which I'm not going to attempt to pronounce because I will just defend everyone living in uh, France. And that's not exactly my goal here. Okay, nothing in there. Uh, light at this window, maybe anyone wants to talk. Nope, just added some light there just for a little bit of flavor. Nothing wrong with that. Can I squeeze through here? No. <laughs> uh, why can't I squeeze through there, by the way? Huh. Right, okay, so color me perplexed. Because this is just going backwards. This is going to be the ball and chain automats out here, right? Yep, there they are. So it said maybe I had to find a way to get in from the outside. Perhaps that means I've already seen the way. Definitely not there. And hmm. Okay. Right, yes. Um. I am confused. So the stairway is blocked. Can't go up the very clear ladder that's right there. And I don't seem to be able to make it up there. If this door opens, I'm going to feel like quite a silly goose. Nope, that doesn't. But this... Wait. No, this doesn't, right? Because it says unlock and then I go to open and it says this gate is locked. Perfect. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. This just goes back into the workshop, so that wouldn't help anyway. Can't get onto the roof, right? You don't wanna let me jump up there. Nope, you sure don't. I can't get on the rocks. Well, this is uh This is quite the solid start, isn't it? I mean, it feels like I should be able to do something here. Oh wait a minute, maybe I can. Maybe no. This is a roof above me. If it wasn't for the roof above me, maybe I could. You're not going to let me grab onto that, huh? Can't reach that. See, and there's a little shimmering light. I saw this before. Remember in the first episode? Oh, come on. I should be able to make that. But there's doesn't seem to... Oh, I actually was able to grab and hoist myself up. No, it doesn't want me to grab that. In the first episode, there was that one tower guarded by that little snake-like fire-breathing thing, and I had another one of those lights. I'm I'm willing to bet that there's some sort of grapple mechanic that I simply haven't unlocked yet. Okay. Yeah, so that is blocked. What about this? 
It looks like a door I should be able to open. But no. What's going on here? What am I missing? Uh This this certainly feels like this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, how about the compass? What does this say? Fine, Monsieur De Vakinson, investigate the death of the dolf the dolphin. Not dolphin. Nope. That would be a very, very different quest objective. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, so there's a letter right here. Oh, and there's actually some automat parts. Oh, and some heads and stuff. Okay. Interesting. Letter of complaint from the workshop's laborers, Monsieur de Vaucanson. The steam pump failures are continuing to interrupt the operation of the mobile walkway all too frequently. Okay, so some information about the mobile walkway. Just think of the heavy loads we have to carry upstairs on our backs. We ask you to see to it that the proper repairs are made without delay to keep the pump working properly. Enclosed with this letter, uh, you will find a key that will allow the chief engineer to come and go freely around the factory. Respectfully, your dedicated employees, Fabre and Gabillard. Okay. And there's the factory key. Alrighty. Alright, I just had to use the compass. And now I'm sure that unlocks this. It sure does. And we have a flaming axe automat right away. Oh, can I get a sneak attack? For the guy with the spear seasoning? Well, I could have. Did you... I can't tell if you actually saw me or not. Supposedly the guy up in the walkway did. Not really sure he's not even looking at me. But you are somehow acute, acutely aware of me. Okay, flame resistance. Nice. How do... I'm gonna peg him with a uh oh I don't have any. I was gonna say use a gravel uh, gravel granite cobblestone. You gonna you gonna fire again? No, you're just gonna What an interesting choice you've made. Okay, there it is. Get the critical attack. Kill. Excellent. Watch oh! Right, cooling. Gotta remember to actually, you know, utilize that. Oh, don't get uh, don't get caught on fire. All right, just kill. Good. Not too bad. It is nice that I've been seeing some of the reviews for this. Now, now it's mixed, and I can, I can already tell you that my own review is going to be mixed. There's a lot of things that I'm enjoying. There are some other things that make me just kind of question a whole bunch. But it is nice that in almost every review I've read. People are praising, rightfully so, the assist mode. You know, it is one of those things where we can have the discussion, and I tweeted this out earlier, we can have the discussion on difficulty options in games all day long. And many people are going to have some very, very heated opinions on the idea of whether or not games should have difficulty sliders in them or difficulty options. However, if they're going to have it, and I think that most games should, okay? That's just my, my thoughts and opinions. And, you know, for those of you who want to come and say, well, it's if it's against the vision of the developer, then it doesn't need it. Well, then I think the developer should probably augment their vision ever so slightly to be more accessible and opening to others. I'm not saying that it needs to be easy. I'm not saying that it needs to be for every single gamer out there. Not every game is for everyone, okay? However, if it is simply a matter of just putting in something as simple as, let's say, God Mode, which would allow anyone to play the game and just experience the game in the story, then why not? It doesn't hurt my experience. It doesn't hurt your experience. It can only enhance it for other people. But anyway, I digress. Didn't mean to uh, get on my little soapbox. But in terms of having the option for difficulty, this is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. Actually put in the assist mode where people can select the different qualities of the game they want to augment and maybe make easier or more palatable for them. 
That way, it's their own game. They're just customizing it to their own playstyle or playing ability or uh, even just, you know, time. Because that's one thing that uh, has, as someone working a full-time job and a father of three and doing this mostly for fun, well, time gets away from you. And sometimes I don't have the time to beat my head up against a wall for hours on end in order to advance a game story. So, uh, Spiders and Nacon, you did a phenomenal job with the difficulty selections in this game. And uh, kudos to you, and I really hope that more games will uh, follow suit. I think it's an excellent implementation. Anyway, back to the game at hand and, and off my own little diatribe there. All right, what you got? It's just so forgiving. I mean, really and truly. The window for pairing is huge and, whoa, Nelly. And I'm for it. I'll be honest, I am for it. Do you want to maybe breathe fire again? I like when you breathe fire, because all I need to do is get behind you. And then I can just flame tornado. Okay, there we go. And what else do we have here? Oh, just a flame guy, no big deal. Because I can get behind you as well. And finish, nice, good. I am, I am loving these moves, really and truly. Okay, lesser spirit. Keep going up seems to be maybe the correct way. But let's peek outside and see if there's anything hidden. A couple of axes just hanging out there. All right, good. If nothing, this should lead to some... S oh, okay, this is how we're going to hop across to get that one item I saw from down below. Great. And what is it? Ordinary oil vial. <laughs> Soaking for something a little bit more exciting. But you know what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. This actually might be... No, I didn't just say a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, you misheard. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Whoa! Okay. So that was silly. Good clean kill. Back up. And, nice finish, good. Oh, these guys can drop ordinary oil vials, that's excellent. See, from a, a mob, that's a good drop. For doing a uh, platform puzzle, not, not so much. Diane Kaplan and Diane Ruddingoat? Oh, jeez. So let's take a look at that. That's a cool looking hat. That's a cool looking hat. And I'm all about the fashion right now. We've got to be, because that just looks so cool. You know what? So does this half coat, half corset. This frock coat, it's a frock coat. That's a that's just a fun thing to say. Oh, this looks cool. This does look really cool. Okay, so is this an area that I was already... Yeah, okay. I see where I'm at. I see where I'm at, indeed. Flame resistance, okay, so I guess we're now going to head upstairs. This does make me feel as though I missed an area, though, a bit back. When I first jumped across, I believe if I had stayed up there, I may have found some more stuff. Okay. Uh, how do we want to tackle this one? Maybe just explosive grenades, at least to take out one. Wow, that's some good damage. Kill, kill, nope, nope, nope. Okay, that's uh, that's enough. I don't need to use one. Oh, maybe I do need to use one. Oh, yikes. That was a little scary. I was kind of focused on right here. This automaton right here thinking that's what was actually going to be coming to get me, but no, no. It was, uh, it was those things just hiding behind the boxes. Okay. Careful now. This actually might lead right... What? 
Hold on, I can't walk on this barely slanted roof? What just... What just happened? That was intentional? Like, that wasn't a bug? I was actually supposed to slide off of the roof like that? That's... Oh, that's an odd choice. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure I just got the item and then it actually, uh... And then it let me pick up the actual icon itself off the ground. Okay. So, you know, imperfect. Little bit of, little bit of bugginess so I can go down to the coast. But before we do that... Okay, we've got a treasure. A sublimator. Lavoisier sublimator. Okay, enough materials to upgrade the burette. So a sublimator improves the amount of health restored, whereas the catalyst increased the number of doses. So I can actually get more health restored. So before we go down to the coast, I'm going to go run back through the factories, right? Because I want to check out this a little bit more because I think maybe either I, I went too far far in my exploration or at least I made a turn when I probably should have just kept going up so it doesn't seem like I can do cooling just from sprinting unless I'm not timing it right so right here yeah this is where I could have gone up and I didn't so let's check it out oh there's just a chest it's all right I say just a chest that might have something important and it has a lasting affliction module and a module key. Yes, that was worth it. What's a lasting affliction module? This module slightly increases the duration of alchemical afflictions inflicted on the enemy. That's pretty interesting. So it actually just straight up increases the length of time they'll take, uh, like, fire damage. Also, it sounds like there's something moving somewhere sounded like there was an automaton but I didn't see one I keep saying automaton apparently automat's the correct term according to the game so uh, you know my sincerest apologies so let's let's see yeah unless unless you're either in battle or maybe performing actions that would otherwise cause your endurance to run out it does not look like you can do the rapid cooling at least not from what I've seen. So you can just kind of run to your heart's content. Okay, was this correct? This was not correct. This was not correct. Doggone. Okay, so I missed a turn. I should have taken the left at Albuquerque. And back down. Trying to keep the camera from going too wonky. But it is a thing that's happening. Okay, so maybe it was up, up, up. Yep, and then got past the two snake-like things. And then we drop down, thinking you can walk across, and no, you're just supposed to drop, <laughs> drop down. Okay, factory port. I don't know how this is going to help me get into the factory itself. But we will uh, figure it out, I suppose. Yeah, just one of you? If that's the case... I am none too concerned. Oh, there's more. Okay, back up, back up. Watch it. I wish they could kill each other. That would just be so... Oh, I just did a little air juggle. That was cool. All right. I do like the fighting. I like the combat. It's not overly difficult, but it's it's fun. It's satisfying. I do enjoy it. I don't think I would enjoy a swim, though. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not a thing for me. Okay. I, I'm getting further and further away from the factory. I'm not sure if anyone's paying attention to that or if it's just me. I 
hear things moving about. Now oh, they oh they're just up there. They do see me, but they're up there. Not much they can do. You, however, can do something. Okay, let's uh see if we can't get a little immobilization going. Oh, nope, just gonna get a kill. That's fine. Does every enemy drop an item? It actually appears that that's the case, which is pretty helpful because when you're using these alchemical capsules, they go they go pretty quickly. All right, you, this way. How about a couple of nice charge R2s for you? Didn't even need it, but I'll use it. Why not? Okay, get across. <laughs> Those are so slow. One thing that I would like to see, you know, and I know this game, again, I was just praising it for its accessibility. I'll continue to do so. However, it's not going to change my opinion that this probably could be a little bit more challenging, like in those projectiles, <laughs> being a little, a little swifter. Item up here, right? Oh, item over there. Do I have to grab that? I think so. And then to this one. Yes. And finally to this. Although I might have just been able to jump there. Ordinary. <laughs> uh, once again, with the jumping puzzles and the oil files. Okay, just make sure though that was it over here, right? Yeah. Here's some stomping around though. Wait, no, no. I'm just back here. That's... That's not where I wanted to go. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So the jumping puzzle was for more than just an oil vial, right? Because I can make this, I hope. Indeed I can. Can I get it? Nope. I was hoping for a nice backstab. This way is just going yet further from the workshop. I'm gonna get out my nemesis claws. I can go down, I wanna go down. I wanna be by the water, be by the ocean. Wah! <laughs> Terrible, Let, I wanna try that parry again. Nope, that's not, a, that's not actually an attack. Come on now. Um, either you can't, or I'm just timing this really badly. Okay, a little bit of health back from that critical. And look, there's an enemy who didn't drop anything. So there we go, there's my answer. Not every enemy drops something. I've probably already seen that before. Okay, how about not just another hat? Wheel of Vengeance. Turn, turn, turn. That's a weapon, though. And I was just thinking it's been a while since I've had a weapon. So the... Whoa. Okay. This defensive move turns the force of the enemy's own attack against them, throwing them off balance and inflicting flame damage. Does that... So that's a parry. But with a big old heavy weapon. Okay. Uh, actually... Let's put back on the falchion. I'm gonna get rid of that for the Wheel of Vengeance. And, uh... That's... that's slow. <laughs> that's so slow. But we're gonna play with it. Okay. I'm fine with this. That's <laughs> kind of exciting. That'll probably put out some huge damage numbers if I land a, a counterattack. I would hope. Come on, oil vial. Hey, two of them, to be exact. Oh, goodness. Um, dear developers, if you're going to have a game that, that is this rich... Over there, the steam pump. I will have to go around to get to it. Okay. Uh, if you're going to have a game that, that is this rich in uh, in loot, just maybe spice up the variety just a little bit. 
just getting these oil vials again and again is getting brr, a wee bit monotonous. All right, you're giving me petrification grenades. I'm thinking if I have a steam pump to repair nearby, I am also going to have a, uh, a boss to be fighting here soon. Look at, look at the counterattack. You just kind of hold up this giant steering wheel. The forge. I like the sound of that. Nothing behind me. Something around the corner, though. Oh, see that fog? This is going to be another one of those unstable automats. It's going to be probably blocking another Vestal. We saw that in the first zone. Yeah, sure enough. There's the Vestal. Well, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to prepare for this. We are going to. We have the Burette. What is that second one? That's my starting gift, isn't it? It's alchemical resistance. It neutralizes all alchemical damage for a brief period of time. That's pretty good. I'll leave that on. But I want to... I don't really need the compass. I'm kind of thinking we do fulmination. And... Frost. And don't I have the immobilization? Petrification? We'll do that. There we go. Lots of grenades. Okay. Whatever's down there, we've got something to fight it. Oh. So it's pretty much Vort of the Boreal Valley down there. Looks like he's emanating maybe frost, or otherwise that might just be this unstable aura, and maybe a flame sword? Okay. Let's uh let's try some fulmination. And what do we got? Don't. Unstable forger. Okay. Take some take some lightning damage. Oh, wait a minute. That means you take extra damage though, doesn't it? Oh, back up. Whoa, whoa. That seemed like good damage. That's decent damage on me too, though. Okay. Do I want to do frost? Maybe frost. Oh my gosh, he's instantly frozen. That's crazy. And that was good damage. Okay, back up. Use the. That's wrong. Wrong. For some reason, suddenly I forgot what I was doing. Do I want to do petrification? Let's try petrification. Uh, that is almost a full bar. That's kind of insane. There's a critical. Okay, back up. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Oh, he's got some range though. How about uh, another another frost grenade? Is that really that really does freeze you? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Frost. Way too. Oh, okay. So fulmination definitely significantly increases. The damage you do. Once again, wrong button. I don't really want to try to parry, but maybe I'll do a, a tornado. Might be a mistake. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. That was a mistake. That was the very definition of mistake. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's freeze him and then we'll do it. How's that? Cause that's just absurd. Back up. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at the hammer spinning. I actually didn't notice that. Let's see if we can bait an attack and then. Nice finish. Nice jump finish. Okay. Fun fight. Fun. Fight or flight module and a module key. I think that means I can now upgrade one of my module slots. But I also want to see what the fight or flight is. This module slightly increases the physical damage and impact inflicted by Aegis when her health is at its lowest. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I, I just don't like playing that way. That is not my MO, that's for sure. Okay, 3200 plus I have some consumables that I can use. Is this door actually going to open? It is. I will go rest of the vessel, don't you worry. 
bronze ingot and cast iron. Nice. That's beautiful. Oh, well, that's, that's, I don't think that's the right sound effect. Oh, is that a note? That's a note. Probably don't read it while you're being shot at. Wouldn't be the first time you've done it, but it probably, you know, the last time should have been the last. Ow. <laughs> Okay, so there's uh, there's another one. That's all right. They don't do that much damage. Oh, nice slide attack. But you are so slow. Oh my word. Okay, that is that is that's bad. But you know what we need to do is we need to try to get a counter attack. That's what it's here for, right? Not that. Do your melee. Nope. That was not good. Great. Now I need to use one of these to heal. Okay. Try again. Too uh, too early. Let me heal up again. I want to. I want to see this in action. <laughs> Don't die. Okay, we're out of here. We're out. <laughs> He's gonna shoot at me. Time to run. Yeah, I almost died doing something really, really dumb. So we're gonna go rest. <laughs> we're gonna go rest at the Vestal. Probably upgrade a weapon. I don't know why I'm just... I was praising the huge window for the parry and now I can't land it at all. Sounds about right. Okay. Use the Vestal. Uh, first, we're going to go to my upgrades. We're going to go to a module slot. I have three. We're going to upgrade that one. Okay. Now we'll see what we want to do with it. Um, okay, I can't actually go to level three because it requires two bronze ingots, not one. Uh, if I can land... The special move, it's huge. I'm not even gonna actually upgrade anything. I'm gonna save onto those, but I am going to go to my boutique. I'm going to sell, sell whatever essence I have, which is not too many. Uh, I don't really care to purchase anything. Oh, I have new modules though. Oh wait, no, no, those are selling. Those are selling. Anything? New though, no. The will to live, I don't need that. Oh, it sells a module key now though. Don't, I don't think we need it at the moment. Um, don't need to go to equipment. Okay, back to upgrades. I can do, I can get two levels out of this. Hmm. Straight up durability? I kind of just like hitting harder though. You know what? We're going to do elemental because I like the elementals. And then we're also going to do power. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That is what we are going to do. Now, why does it say upgrades? Why? What else can I do here? I, I can't. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, I can. My burette, which we absolutely will. Excellent. All right. Should I just go fix this silly pump? Look at all the automats here. This might lead to a shortcut back to, all right, here we go. That was cool. And now you're on fire and now you're gonna die. All right. So I'm just bad at timing it. It does work, and it works pretty well. That was a huge amount of impact. Set him on fire in one fell swoop, and I think this is the steam pump I have to fix. Okay, that was easy enough. Voila. That should work. What? Why should that work? What? What did that do? What has changed? 
Okay, well. Let us... Oh! Go take care of you. And... Oh, look at that knockdown. Okay, nice heavy. And just to finish it off, beautiful. Still need to go back though, and you gotta read that one note. Oh, ball and chain. Oh, but you're not looking. Oh, you are looking. I just can't tell which way you're facing. I uh, kind of forgot to hit the attack button. Good. Good follow up. I don't think I won unless I'm going to be doing a counter attack though. Okay. Good. Watch the stamina. Uh, why can't I do a rapid cool? Why can't I do a rapid cool? I I can't even regenerate stamina. Something's wrong. Oh, that was weird. That seemed like a crazy big penalty. Something was wrong with that. Either that or I'm not fully understanding how that works entirely. Oh, look at that. I'm back. Oh, wait a minute. What is... Can I activate this? No. Can I hit this and get an item? I can down there. Well, that's the way back. But I don't want to go there just yet. There was at least that one note that I didn't get. Ooh, another immob immobilization. Is that going to increase immobilization or prevent it? Guess that's the question, huh? Increases it. Great. I am all about that. The immobilization works really well. If that stacks with the immobilization grenade, that means that most enemies will probably become immobilized after a single grenade, which is kind of broken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, where? Where was the boss again? He was just... Down in here, yeah. Oh, anything in these barrels? No. Okay, yep. So he, the forger, was in. Not here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, explosive grenades. Is this just going to be the back? Oh, it is. This is just the back side. Can I. Please? Awesome. You're not dead, but you will be. Awesome. So what if I switch, though, to the Wheel of Vengeance? Uh, I don't know if that actually made an appreciable difference. That did, though. Great. Now I can go read the note. Full of words that I can't pronounce. Oh, oh hey, nice catch. Reserve inventory. Steel, 77 pounds. Molybdenum, 26 pounds. I actually did a report in college on molybdenum. Uh, did you know that it was actually used in uh, some samurai swords many, many years ago? Pretty cool little element. Tungsten, 84 pounds. Zirconium, 32 pounds. Note, without a rapid resupply, lantern production will be suspended in six to seven days, and it will then be impossible to fulfill the Comte de Cagliostro's request. See, I told you. Chock full of things I can't pronounce. But I can say molybdenum, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. Right, well, back to the workshop. I think we can finally meet up with Vonkinson. So let's do just that. Peculiar that you can just overheat while running with absolutely no consequences whatsoever. Now, I'm hoping since I'm going to a workshop, though, whatever these little glowing 
parts are that I believe are going to be a grapple. I do hope that eventually I'll be able to utilize those. Careful. Okay. So maybe that change this. Maybe there's going to be a lever now that will activate that. Ah, yes, there is. I imagine we're about to get some some story dump. Bosso. Peace. I was given orders to come here. An automat that talks. Ah, mais je te reconnais. Your Vulcan Souls dancer. I saw you perform in Versailles when you were first presented to the Queen. Oh, I actually have dialogue options. Okay. <laughs> this this perspective really to me screams Fallout 4. Oh look, back to Lafayette, because he's getting impatient. Let's talk with the Queen. I have been sent by the Queen. Sa Majesty. Is she safe? Yes. She is at the Chateau de saint Cloud. It is guarded by machines. Machines? What has become of the guards? There are no longer any human guards. <sighs> His own troops. He's no better than a rabid dog. So this is not, obviously, Monsieur de Volkenson. So I guess we ask about him next. I must find Monsieur de Volkenson. He holds the secret to the tireless automats. Your creator? Well, that makes two of us. And it seems we've both arrived too late. He must have gone scurrying back to his master. I was only able to find this note written in his hand. It's nothing of any use, though. Only one thing's for certain. Wherever he went, he didn't take his horseless carriage. He left the key. Does that mean I'm about to have access to his horseless carriage, which to me just screams car? There are machines wreaking havoc on the Esplanade. So I saw, yes, and a little too closely for my liking. It's a miracle I escaped alive. Just by Les Invalides, I saw one take a volley of gunfire, halt for an instant, then carry on as if nothing happened. But no machine, however resilient, is indestructible. These automats must have a weakness. Some vital axle or gear that we can target. I don't suppose you would know, you who share their nature. No. Blast. That is unfortunate. I scoured the workshop hoping to shed some light on the matter. But to no avail. Uh, if only I had listened to the abbot. But perhaps there's still time. Listen to me. You must find Abbe Grégoire. He knows all about Vaucanson and his machines. Where can I find him? He took it upon himself to carry out a well-intentioned but perilous mission. If he's still alive, he'll be seeking refuge at the Société des Amis des Noirs on Place Saint-Méry, not far from Les Halles. Here, take the key to the carriage. It will no doubt be of use to you. I must attend to a matter of the utmost importance. If my officers are to be believed, the people in arms are calling for the Marquis de Lafayette as their general. And it is my duty to answer their call. You know, he asked about weakness to the automats. Uh, yeah. The answer is just immobilization grenades or a frost gun. It works absolute wonders. A note addressed to the king by Monsieur de Vaucanson. You asked, sire, the reasons for my disquiet. Do you forget that it was I, Vaucanson, who made this machine with my own hands, that accursed night at Moudon, what I saw I fear I may never forget. It would have been enough for the poor Dauphin to give up his soul to God, and yet no, he had to be, and the letter ends there. Still part of the mystery. Oh, check out the little driller guy here, looks like some robo-dogs. Can I break him free? No, I can't break him free. There's got to be other stuff in here I can use, right? 
No? That's it? I got to talk to a guy and get a carriage key and... Oh, there's something else though. No, right here. Monsieur de Cagliostro. We are very happy to learn that your vestals are ready to be placed in the locations we decided upon. Let us pray that the unfortunate incidents that occurred during the test do not happen again. This, phen this phenomenon you call tearing causes me great concern. We cannot afford to release machines into the city that are not under your control. Well, look, there's actually plans drawn up for the Vestal. You also have carriages drawn by an automat horse. You have a horseless uh, carriage right here. You have some sort of dancing automat. Is that supposed to be me? I'm not sure. Now, can I go down the stairs? Do we magically clear them? Another note. Note from Goudon. We have been betrayed. That Cœur de Flandre has disappeared. With him, the wardrobe and weapons made for the bodyguard of Her Majesty the Queen, Monsieur Le Comte. Did I not warn you about this man? Did I not warn you that he was close to Von Cousson and blindly echoed all his opinions? This fool is hostile to our aims and will most certainly disperse or hide the valuables he has stolen from us. It was madness to keep him as second assistant. I could easily have done all this work on my own. Alas, I now find myself faced with the most difficult decision. The bracelet you gave me seems to have lost its effects and the automats are threatening me. I don't know what to do and fear for my life. I wish you had left me with more guidance. I will try to go to Versailles, where I hope to find you. Your devoted assistant, Guton. Oh, hello. Happy birthday, my sweet daughter. I can't believe it. The dancer you promised me. She's magnificent. You're the best papa ever. <laughs> Hello. Tell me, will you give her a name? Remnant of a dancer. So I was originally a gift to Vaucanson's daughter. Not sure what bearing that has on uh, the story or anything, but there we have it. So I got a key to the carriage, and I'm wondering if it's going to be this super ornate carriage that I ran up to earlier. I believe it just might be. Haha. <laughs> So this acts kind of like as a vestal as well. The horseless carriage allows Aegis to travel around Paris. In addition, thanks to the equipment on board, she can do the same things as she can at a vestal. It is equipped with messengers, allowing Aegis to receive and reply to letters from her allies. I can reply to allies? Okay. Investigate the death of the Dauphine. Find Mirabeau. To Monsieur Eugène de Vaucanson. This 24th day of June, 1789, 11 o'clock in the morning, my dear Eugene, will you tell me what this disaster is about? Your machines are killing everything in sight right under my windows, and the air is heavy with the cries of innocent people being slaughtered. Have you lost control of your inventions? Did the king force you to organize this bloodbath? I beg you, my friend, write to me immediately at my townhouse in the Quartier de saint Eustache. Definitely wrong. I guess we can travel now. Oh, great. Because I know where I'm going. So I have a main quest in the Tuileries and La Cité. 
Now, if I open this, okay. So there's an indication for the main quest, side quests, and characters. So back here, that's where Marie Antoinette is, okay. I guess because it's grayed out means there's nothing here for me. Whereas here, there's a main quest. Here, there's a main quest. I don't know which way to go. I guess we'll just go here first. It's kind of over the top with its epic music right now. <laughs> and why wouldn't Automats just attack this carriage? I should probably look this up. The Twil Twilari. That sounds French. The Twilari. We. Oui. <laughs> Sorry. I just, I actually, I take pride when I know I can pronounce something correctly. And when I can't, I feel just a bit foolish. So this is, this is not a pleasant game for me in that respect. <laughs> okay, first things first. Can we go back there? No, we cannot. That is apparently the great bridge into uh, Cathedral Ward. Little Bloodborne reference for you, why not? Okay, granite cobblestone, that makes sense to collect on this cobblestone street. Now, are we gonna run into some new automats here? Kinda. Okay, that was a sneak attack and you didn't die in one hit even though you seem to be a uh, a basic mob. That's okay. I'm alright if it gets a little tougher. Let's go around the outside. That's... Is that a fort? That's a forger. So already, I'm running into the same enemy that was a boss just a moment ago, and it's now going to be just a standard enemy. Uh, typically, we wait until a little while longer, you know, just for future reference. Okay, let's go deal with you. Oh, you throw grenades too. What? Okay, do we want to try and go for a uh, counter attack? Are you going to give me something to counter? Yes, you are. Ow. Fire is actually going to kill you, however. Let's make it a little faster. Don't go in there. Don't you do it. Oh, good. Chest already. Nice. A grade 2 fulmination resistance module. Insulation elixir fulmination resistance. Okay. I mean, I do have a grade 2... You know, can I? I don't remember. Can I switch modules on the fly? I can, right? I can. So what do I have that's a grade 2? Charging module. Oh, that's right. I have... Increased physical damage caused by a successful fully charged attack. I'm actually going to put that on. Now, the longevity is health. So, I'm going to put that on. Avarice, I like. Critical repair isn't really doing me a whole lot. So, I'm actually going to put on... Do I want to do the longevity? No. Let's do immobilization. Yeah. There we go. I think that should work out very, very nicely in... I don't think I'm making that jump. It's close, but I'm not willing to risk it just yet. Alright, big guy. Can I get to you? I cannot. Well, I can. I just have to go here. Okay, here's the uh, Tuileries Garden. It sounds so forced because I have to stop and think about how to even say it. Even though I'm probably saying it wrong, I have to think about how to say it wrong. What? Ew. Whoa, okay. That's... That's a bit crazy. Alright, tornado. That was... Not great with immobilization. Oh, I am, I am, uh, 
hurting. Let's heal up. Thing is, I don't know how to get rid of the, the fulmination status. Okay, just finish, finish. Okay, good. I may want to start putting that on the old uh, hotbar. Insulation elixir, does that fix it? Okay, this is an antidote of sorts. Okay. Well, it's gone now, but for future reference, that's what I'm going to need. I just want to actually immobilize something. I think I can probably mobilize. Oh, no. No, no. Well. Well, Dorn. Somehow I missed. There we go. Uh-oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah. That hurt him, though. Believe it or not. Back up. You know what? Don't even back up. Just kill. Ooh. Oh, that was close. All right, there's a rapid cooling. Success. Almost immobilized. There we go. Beautiful. This is fun. I, I am having a good time. Honestly, critiques aside, I'm just enjoying myself. And I, I'm i playing a game, so shouldn't that be the very hallmark of what we're talking about here? Come on now. Beautiful. Excellent. Love that counterattack. Love it. When that lands with the Wheel of Vengeance. It's just so good. Alchemical Shield Module. Uh, I'm guessing that's just resistance, right? Yeah. Increases Flame, Frost, and Fulmination. So th the way that I take resistances like that is if I'm not struggling against a particular enemy type, I'm not going to put those on. If, however, I find that there's a particular boss or enemy that is just absolutely wrecking me and it's using an element, that's when I will consider starting to stack resistances. Okay. Oh, you're kind of cool looking. Oh, that charge attack is doing numbers. I don't really know where I'm going, though. Okay, pretty wide open road here. A large gate that's not going to open. Probably a gate up ahead that's not going to open. This, this could be a spot, though. Where a boss just pops out from behind me, right? Sure feels like it could be. Another courtyard that essentially looks the same. Watch it. So he actually has, oh, just a physical, oh, he's not dead, he's not dead, I thought he was dead. Oh, there we go, and let's go ahead and take that to be safe. There we go. So that, that does work nicely, getting rid of that, and you don't open. I'm, I'm straying really far into an unknown area. I don't think I've ever gotten a sneak attack on one of you, have I? It's not about to start now. You're not alone, are you? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Someone's got a gun. Oh, and I just went into a tiny courtyard. I can go through here, though. Okay, this works. I can deal with you now. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was backing up. Alright, stack another 
oil. Good. I'm gonna try and do a fully charge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's gonna kick. Oh, I got him just in time. And finish. Not quite. Got him, but he got me. Not to the death, though. Alright. It's the same old guy I've been fighting, it's just now he's got uh, frost. Oh. Whoa! Aegis is broken. So is my spirit. That hit really hard. Uh, on that note, I'm actually going to have to call it apart there. We're going to have to make our way back to claim that essence and um, figure out where in the world we were supposed to be going anyway. Oh boy. Well, on that note, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. Uh, if you get a chance, check the game out. I understand that the price is a little steep, and I don't know how long the game is. I don't know what the story's like later on. But I'm having fun with it. And if it's something that you want to consider, you can check the description down below. I have two affiliates with uh, Green Man Gaming and Games Planet. Both of them have sales right now, depending on your region. Uh, you can also support the channel if you end up picking it up. But otherwise, if you want to wait for a sale, I completely understand. Uh, or at the very least, maybe wait till I release more videos. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time.